Uh, four teams, 30,000 people, and one big event. You have seen the signs around town. Final Four weekend is here. The Twin Cities hasn't hosted an event of this caliber since before the pandemic. Aaron Hassanzada shows us what to expect. It's been a while. It's kind of cool seeing everything be packed again. But downtown Minneapolis is about to have a major comeback weekend. It's our first big event since the start of the pandemic. It's the first chance for us to um, see downtown really recover and see it really, really active. Downtown is preparing. The Skyway is going to expand its hours this weekend. Restaurants like Barrio are doing the same. They're going to stay open until midnight on Fridays and Saturdays, and they'll open on Sundays, something they haven't done in a long time. MPD says you will notice more officers if you come downtown this weekend, mostly outside of the venues like the Target Center. And there will be some road closures too near the venues to keep pedestrians safe. And we'll be sold out. The Royal Sinesta is home to the Louisville team this weekend. All 360 rooms are booked for five days straight. It's been the busiest we've been since uh, 2019, and it's really, uh, it's really been phenomenal to see the, the activity downtown. There's more energy downtown right now, and uh, there's a vibe on the street that I haven't seen really since the Super Bowl was here. And it's, it's really fantastic. Gary Wessner is a downtown resident with a connection to one of the teams. I'm an alumni of University of Connecticut. Well, I don't have my tickets yet, but I'm hoping to score some tickets. Tickets or not, there will be plenty to soak in this weekend on the streets of downtown Minneapolis. I'm pretty excited for it. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. There are a lot of free events to come and check out downtown, including a fan fest at the convention center and block party before games at Target Center. And we've put a full list on our website.